Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is Dr. Hufran Babur, and uh, uh, you are watching my YouTube channel. Today's uh, video will be based on COVID-19 disease and future prospects of the disease and long-lasting immunity after acquiring a COVID-19 infection. As you know that the disease is progressing and spreading uh, the world as a pandemic, uh, the peak uh, disease activity or the highest infections are presently in USA, uh, India, and Brazil. Uh, in last uh, 12 to 24 hours, uh, the death toll in USA has risen to 18576, uh, with the total number of new deaths being 402. In Brazil, there are uh, 114772 deaths already and 495 deaths have been reported. India, which has over 57,000 uh, deaths uh, reported as of today, that is Sunday, uh, September 23rd. And uh, the total number of uh, deaths which have been reported in last 12 to 24 hours is 846 uh, in UK. The death toll is now 41,000 uh, and 429. And the deaths have been less, up to six. Pakistan continues to show uh, good uh, disease uh, control and uh, decreased activity, uh, with only four deaths reported, total number of deaths being 6235 and new cases are still emerging probably with the recent Eid uh, uh, festival, recent uh, 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 gatherings that may have happened. Uh, there, is, uh, there are new cases of 1209, uh, over 1000 cases in last 24 hours, but the mortality or deaths have only been four. So going back to our uh, future, uh, prospects of attaining uh, long-lasting immunity to COVID-19. Uh, there have been number of uh, antibody data which has been reported uh, from all across the world. And remember, antibodies are an indicator that once you get exposed uh, to the virus, uh, our immune cells, uh, which are lymphocytes in which there are cells that kill, natural killer cells, macrophages, and there are other uh, cells, the B lymphocytes, which could cause uh, 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 plasma cell formation, which make the immunoglobulins or antibodies against the infection. And uh, their antibodies that have been measured, uh, they have shown high titer of antibodies uh, in uh, India. In Delhi, it was 24% uh, in the people who were tested. 21.7% uh, in Moscow, 7% in New York, 17.5% in London, and overall in UK is 6.2% people have that protective uh, antibody. And uh, the immune cells, which also include the T cells, which uh, uh, include cells that uh, kill the infectious agents, the killer T cells, the suppressor cells, and the helper cells, the helper cells uh, increase the antibody pr production uh, and the suppressor, if there's too much of inflammation, uh, they are, uh, the inflammation is suppressed. And on top of that, there are B and T memory cells that keep a memory of the infectious agent. And if we get exposed to that infectious agent, in our case, it's the COVID-19, then a robust immune response is launched so that the virus is eradicated and the person is protected. So uh, there has been, uh, there are reports that say, uh, which are optimistic and that indicate that there would be, uh, you know, uh, long lasting immunity against the COVID-19 infection, whether you have a severe disease or mild disease, uh, there will be neutralizing antibodies formed that will neutralize the virus and the T cells uh, that kill the virus, the cytotoxic T cells, they will have an activity and there will be uh, memory uh, cells as well. 
and uh, there have been recent uh, good studies uh, which have come up uh, to support uh, this thing. A uh, couple of studies from University of Washington uh, that say that functional SARS-CoV-2 specific immune memory persists after mild COVID-19 infection. So there was a question by different people that does the mild uh, infection uh, give you a similar immunity as compared to moderate to severe infection? Because remember, uh, most of the infections by COVID-19 are mild uh, infections, the respiratory symptoms including the fever, runny nose, cough, congestion, sometimes vomiting or diarrhea, loss of taste sensation, and it's only in moderate infection in which you can develop uh, pneumonia, respiratory distress, uh, and in severe infection you can develop <coughs> excuse me, respiratory distress uh, syndrome and cytokine release syndrome and generalized shock-like state. So that is good news. And uh, uh, they have a study uh, from Washington, uh, University of Washington, in which longitudinal follow-up uh, for three months of mild cases. And they uh, express that they, will de they have developed uh, uh, sustained immunological memory in, uh, against the infectious agent and that was all, both the antibodies and T cells, uh, the T memory cells uh, which dis, uh, release the gamma interferon uh, once uh, they are re-exposed to the same infectious agent which activates the immune system to launch uh, the immune response uh, against the virus and those cells uh, which are infected uh, by the virus, they exhibit the viral antigen uh, or the virus indicates to the immune system that it has been infected by the virus and the lymphocytes come release material to destroy that specific cell to limit the spread of infection. Remember this infectious agent that the COVID-19 virus utilizes the cell machinery uh, including uh, the nucleus uh, as well as the ribosomes where its protein is made and uh, the transcription uh, which uh, increases the viral DNA and the viral particles kill that cell and then infect other uh, cells of the host, uh, uh, host cells. So that is good news that those neutralizing antibodies uh, are formed. And then there uh, was another study that was carried out in a fishing boat uh, that carried 122 people. And before the people left, and this study is also coming from University of uh, 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 Seattle, University of Washington. So those 122 crew people, they were tested for COVID-19 before departure and only three people had antibodies. None were positive. The RT-PCR PCR was negative uh, for the rest of the people. And uh, somehow, some was incubating the disease, that the disease was going through the incubation period. And in the incubation period is a time when the disease has not expressed itself and is entering into the host uh, cells. And this could last up to a week to 10 days. So someone was carrying that virus and when they went to uh, the voyage, which was about 18 day long, uh, that person became symptomatic and started spreading the disease. So 85% of the vessel crew and the people, they got it. So out of 122, 104 developed symptoms and one person needed hospitalization. So this 18 day voyage was reduced to a fewer days. So uh, what happened was that those people, uh, one of four people, they developed antibodies, IgG, against uh, the infection and uh, they worked against the virus. And those three people, they continued to express the neutralizing antibodies and the cytotoxic T cells and T memory cells and they developed a strong immune system and due to which they did not develop the symptoms. And these were the people who may have been exposed to COVID-19 mild infection previously and they had developed the immunity. 
so that was good news that uh, those antibodies were able to fight off infection and uh, they were followed up and uh, they, that for 50 days and antibodies uh, stopped uh, the spread of infection to other cells. So that is a really, really good uh, uh, study uh, or however long term follow up of these people would be needed. Uh, so those three people who were positive for antibody, they did not get infected or did not develop any symptoms indicates that you develop lasting protection against the infectious agent if you are exposed again. So that is the good piece of evidence that indicates that people, even those people who have developed a mild disease initially, they could be protected from the disease if they are exposed again. So that is a really good outcome of this study. Then there was another study from uh, Stockholm Center of Infectious Medicine that noticed that there was robust T cell immunity in convalescent individuals with asympto asymptomatic or mild COVID-19 infection. And in those, uh, this study too, uh, they indicated that they developed a higher level of cytotoxicity. So they developed cytotoxic T cells, T as memory cells and B memory cells and T cells uh, were able to destroy uh, the infected COVID-19 uh, cells. And previously in SARS-1 study, they also showed uh, that uh, long lasting immunity was possible. So uh, both all these three studies uh, collectively indicate the people who develop mild uh, or asymptomatic disease, they are protected against future infection. If they are exposed to the infectious agent, again, our memory cells, they activate the immune system, the immune system makes the neutralizing antibodies, and there are cytotoxic or cell destroying cells, which attack the infected cells to limit the damage and to do uh, damage control and destroy the virus and the virus infected cells. So remember, it uses the host cell uh, to spread. So if a virally, virally infected cell is killed, uh, or the, those cells are killed very at, in the very early stage of the disease, then the disease progression is stopped because the virus is prevented from replicating and spreading to rest of the body. So that is a very good uh, outcome and similar type of immune responses generated by the vaccines because they gave an attenuated form of virus. It could be the viral protein, viral RNA or viral DNA. Viral protein is an advanced stage of the vaccine and when the viral protein is entered, the immune cells develop a memory against that specific protein. So when they are exposed to that protein again, the memory cells activate the immune system. So that indicates that the vaccines which will be prepared based on these three components of the viral uh, structure would work. And I, uh, in my previous videos in which I uh, explained the process of vaccine development and the immune response, uh, there are several vaccines coming from one from US, uh, from European countries, China and uh, Russia has already started, uh, you know, giving out vaccine in phase four of clinical trial, while the one which is from US, the Moderna is now in phase three a uh, clinical uh, trial in which 30,000 people would be enrolled and they would be studied to see if the vaccine produces the desired uh, immune response. So we hope for the best that all these studies uh, will come up uh, with a good result and the vaccines which are made, uh, they uh, work. Uh, so these studies have indicated uh, in summary that our immune system uh, develops good response to virus, even if it's a mild or asymptomatic infection. And of course, if it's moderate or severe infection and you survive it, you will develop long-standing immunity. Uh, 
which in turn indicates that those mild or asymptomatic people uh, if they are in the population their antibodies present so there would be herd immunity which will be formed meaning if a certain uh, uh, percentage of the population becomes immune the rest are prevented uh, so if it is 40 to 60 percent the disease transmission would be low and if the antibodies are present in 70 percent of the population either by asymptomatic or mild infection moderate or severe infection or by immunization by vaccines the disease could be prevented in rest of the people that will be herd immunity and if there is possibility of long-standing immunity the disease could be eliminated or eradicated so this disease could ultimately be eradicated from the world. So that is a really, really good uh, evidence and good uh, kind of news uh, that we have acquired over the last few weeks. Uh, we hope for the best. Uh, please like this video and share it with your family and friends and subscribe to my channel. May Allah protect all, all of us uh, from this disease and uh, help us overcome this period uh, of stress and difficulty may allah protect all of you uh, ameen sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sahbihi wasallam assalamu alaikum